Okay, the first uh, thing that I wanted to talk to you today about, since you're in chapter two, is the use of signs in um, the algebraic problems that we're going to be doing, both in chapter two and from this point forward in the term. Now, when we get into algebraic equations, you already know that we have to assign signs to the various terms in the equation. Those signs can either be positive or they can be negative. In our problems, you know, the use of sign convention is arbitrary, but for sake of consistency, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in this class and what you're going to see in the text. So, as far as sign convention goes, you've got to understand that there's two sign conventions. There's one sign convention that we use for forces, and then there's another sign convention that we use for moments. So my sign convention is going to be real simple, and like I said, it's going to be consistent. With forces, any force that acts up or to the right is going to be given a positive sign when I'm doing problems. Any force that acts downwards or to the left is going to be assigned a negative sign. So again, for forces, negative signs on forces that are down negative signs that are on forces that go to the left. Forces that act to the right, forces that act up, they will be assigned a positive sign. All right? For moments, you already know that a moment is, the basic definition is, a force times a distance. The sign convention for moments, you've got to understand, is going to be different than that for the forces. For a moment, my sign convention is going to be a moment that spins about a point or rotates about a point in a clockwise fashion is going to be positive, and a moment that spins about a point in a counterclockwise fashion is negative. So again, clockwise positive, counterclockwise negative. Now, the key to this is you got to understand that these sign conventions, the one for forces and the one for moments, are not the same thing. Okay? And I'm going to give you just a brief uh, example here. If I was to have a force that acted this way, you would tell me that force, let's say it was 100 pounds, is acting down. And if I was going to write an algebraic equation, you would give that a negative sign. It's going down. However, if I was considering the moments that that force caused about this point, point A, maybe it's a foot away from point A, you would tell me it's force 100 pounds times one foot. So the moment is 100 foot pounds. Well, what direction is that moment going in? That's creating a clockwise rotation. That moment is going to be positive. So although if you're writing a force equation, you're going to get a negative force, when you write, when you use that force in a moment equation with the corresponding distance about this point, you're going to get a positive moment. So recognize that forces and moments, the sign conventions, are not the same, you know, same thing. Forces to the right and up positive, to the left down negative. Moments, though, are clockwise and counterclockwise. So, anyway. 